Welcome back to Just a Little Valiant Hearts The Great War. Uh, I... Last time... Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, these guys are good guys, that's right. Um, I last time... Found out how the woman takes a part of everything. And I just got caught. And, um... I think her name's Anne, I wanna say. Anne? Is it Anne? I think it's Anne. Is it Anne? Let's, let's see. Uh, first, let's read these. Life and Death of the Zeppelin. The Zeppelin was effective at the start of the war, and in 1915, London suffered over 50 Zeppelin raids before the Royal Navy Air Service intervened. The crab's weak spot was obvi obviously its hydrogen-filled balloon. Hydrogen is lighter than air, hence its value to aviation. However, it is also highly flammable. And in the slightest spark, uh, and the slightest spark sent the craft plummeting spectacularly groundward in a ball of flames. Of the 92 craft used during the war, 68 were destroyed. Uh, facial disfiguration. That is pretty bad. Good lord. By 1918, there are there were 20 million war wounded 20 million people good lord that's a lot of people uh, all countries included roughly 70% of injuries came from shrapnel and only 1% from bayonets facial injuries could result in having a jaw nose or eyes removed but progress in surgery saved and patched up many victims from facial disfigurement and amputation uh of which were there were 200,000 post-war. Mm. Oh man, that is that's pretty bad. Uh, gotta sneak past this guy. If I don't, I die. Oh yeah, I was trying to figure out the names of people. Uh, that would be probably in the diary entries. Uh, no, they don't tell the names. Uh, I think her name's Anne. I want to say it's Anne. I know that's Carl. Uh, Marie, uh, no, I don't remember his name, and Emil. So these two I don't, I don't remember. I don't, uh, Anne and Freddy. This is Anne, I was right, yay. And Freddy. Freddy is the big American guy. Sneaking by this guy. Hey, uh, not allowed over here. Uh, they're looking for the German guys. They're this way. Yeah. I'm looking for my father. I don't know why she has a, a British accent when she's Belgium, but um, yeah, we'll just go with that. And she just helps any and everybody. Good person. Bop, 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 bop. I think he's okay. Let's give him the shot. What is that? I think, yep, yep, just gonna. Gonna pull this bullet out of you. Yep. Yeah, you didn't need that in you. It's just a, it's just a little bullet. Make very good. I'm, I'm, I'm done. Man, for a guy who had a bullet in him and was just like not moving, he sure did uh, sure did uh, get up pretty good. Walk away, hands above his head. Oh, he's pinned under the spike part. Oh god. Oh god. I gotta save Carl. Gotta save Carl. Gotta save Carl. Emil will be so sad. Ah, oh, crap, crap. Now I got a letter. Letter from a soldier. Reams, 14th June, 1915. Dear Emma, we're on the retreat. Our position is untenable. 
Don't worry, I'm still in good health. We are going to leave Reims to the enemy. Reims is a beautiful city. I hope all is well at home and you are taking good care of our parents. I hope the prisoners are working properly for you. See you soon, Siegfried. Like from uh, Soul Calibur, Siegfried, uh, yeah. Go get it, dog. Um, it, it's interesting seeing in war because when usually when we think about war, we think uh, one side thinks the other side is bad. They don't think about the possibility that some of these people are just people who have been been forced into this war and uh, are not really wanting to be a part of it. We just think that, ah, oh, well, these guys are evil because they're fighting against me. Some of them are just like, I don't want to fight this war, but I kind of got to. I have no real choice. I'm sorry, Carl. Uh, go get that. Bring it to me. Bring it to me! Uh, what did I... It was a... Was that a can? That was a, that was a can. A can! But, uh, we don't think about that, the fact that these are people that are in the war. It's just like, they're an enemy, so they gotta be evil and bad! Like, you know, some of them just are people who are in the war, and they don't want to be in the war, and they have families, and it's easier to, uh... It's easier to criminal uh, or, or demonize somebody when you have to fight them. Especially in war. These darts uh, were dropped into trenches from zeppelins or aircraft. Due to the velocity on impact, their heavy tips were capable of piercing through anything between them and the ground, including helmets and soldiers' skulls. That is... I did not know that one. That is pretty bad. I know. This, this, uh... There we go. Dog is just like up here. I don't even know why. I'm gonna save you. Uh, uh. Pull him. Pull him. Pull him. Oh. I didn't think about that. Pull. Pull. Hurry up. Save him. I'm gonna save him. Damn it, Carl. You're not gonna die. You have a wife and kid. Wife and kids. I missed like two like two of those. It's bad. He took over the plane, flew away. Is he okay? Did he just like die? Love a meal has not gotten any clothes. He's just like. I'm I'm a meal. I'm an old war criminal. Or well, not, not really criminal. An old war uh, uh, prisoner. There we go. That's the word I was looking for. Oh, he made his way around. What? Uh. What? Hey, what? Hey, what? Oh, really? Whoa. Shoot. Whoa. There we go. Wait, 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 wait. What is Whoa. that? Crap. I wanted to put that bottle. What if there's a way to go back? Whoa. Go. Get out of here. Hey, oh, yeah, I gotta punch that out. Go now. 
okay, before I do that, I'm gonna go back and pick up that bottle. It's on the ground over here, if it'll let me. Yeah, it's let me. <laughs> it is a sterilizing solution, which is the stuff I'm guessing that uh, Anne is using when she's killing the soldiers. Soldiers drew water directly from rivers and streams, but because of the rats decomposing corpses, rivers and stream water brought a major threat of disease. Soldiers use a variety of products to disinfect water before drinking it. The best solution was to boil it up. Yep. So, kind of is the best solution um, now is to boil water to uh, make sure it, uh, <laughs> is to boil water to make sure it's, uh, it's drinkable. What? Can't do that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What? I know. <laughs> I know exactly what to do. Uh, I'm going to. Hey, what? Uh, I'm going to. I'm here. What? 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 Merci, mon ami. Victory had a bittersweet taste for Anna. Carl, seriously wounded, 
had been sent to a POW camp. Anna's father had disappeared with Baron von Dorf, and Emil was court-martialed for desertion. Cited for his bravery in Rance, Emil was fortunately pardoned and set free, free to go back to the front. February 21st, 1916, winter had descended on the front. After joining back up with the army, Emil and Freddy were stationed near Verdun, suffering like many others from the harsh winter. That morning, the arrival of the mail raised spirits, but Marie's letter did not bring good news. In San Miel, food was scarce, disease was rife, and the number of dead was growing. Out of this grim news, however, there was one ray of light, a photo of his grandson, Victor, standing on both feet and learning to walk. Don't worry. No man for him. Some tool he was dragged to overcome barbed wires, grappling irons, and barbers. It took the compartment of steam to be the most effective method, uh, and the tech became widespread. Dead soldiers tried on barbed wires remaining one of the durable images of the war. Of the war. Skin. Powerful symbol of the war. Done. Here about the Germans at dawn, February 21st, and the aim of Kennedy Alibi. The battle eventually lasted 300 days. Some of the resistance changed hands and the French army. The battle was the highest resistance of actions.
Thank you. 